Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and in today's video we have another house to home home update series for you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far and I'm so excited about turning this house into a home for me and my family. Um, once again I'm still learning my style. I'm trying to figure out what I like, what I don't like. And, you know, just trying to get some inspiration from Pinterest and from some YouTube um, mamas that I do follow here on YouTube. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited about this whole little journey that I'm about to take you guys on. Please excuse the noise if y'all hear the girls. They're just acting up right now. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. I am on my way. Me and the girls are about to leave to go to at homes to do a little bit of shopping. Um, I need to pick up a few things that I need to get from my bed because I already have my comforter. I have a few pillows that I got, so I need to get sheets, and I think I need to get, like, a quilt as well. And pick up some little decor here and there for the kitchen and for my entryway that I'm about to start working on pretty soon. Um, I'm still trying to figure out which what type of entryway table that I want. I'm thinking about just doing something a little bit simple. Who knows? Um, but, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into this video. By the next clip, y'all should see me at, at homes or heading that way. So if you're new to the channel, please make sure you're subscribed because you're going to love your girl. You're going to love this home series, especially if you're into cleaning, laundry, home, and lifestyle videos. I would love for you to join the Katrina Does It All family. Go ahead and like this video and drop your girl a comment introducing yourself if you're new and return subscribers. You know I love reading you guys' comments. Drop your girl a comment as well. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. We are now at at home, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and walk inside. Okay, y'all. So we are now in at homes. I see they have a lot of their spring decor and stuff out. But this I'm not... Y'all, look at JC. She's that... sleepy, but she's up now for this sure. Let me say thank you for all this time, babe I've been loving every time I could call you mine mm. Shut 
Okay, y'all, so now I just came across this painting right here. Now, it's $119, so basically $120. And it has the colors that's in my, um, that I want to have in my bedroom. But it does also has, like, this gold shimmery color. And I don't know about the gold. I don't know. Maybe just a little bit of, little bit of it would look good with the black and then the border right here is like a a grayish brownish um frame and it's a really really nice size to go over my bed like really nice i don't know y'all i think i really like this one as i'm really looking at it i think i like it then they have one up here that's sort of similar to it, except it has a lot of gold, a lot of gold in it. But they're about the same size. So, yeah. all right. So so far, only thing I have in my cart is I got these luxury sheets right here, queen size, and then I got this three-piece quilt bedding set that me and my husband's gonna actually use to sleep on. So, he said that he wanted a quilt. I was gonna do the, I was, I was gonna do the down comforters that at-homes have, but they didn't come with the pillowcases, which was fine with me because the luxury sheets that I have, they come with four pillowcases, so that's really good, especially for a queen, a queen set. So yeah, um, that's all I got so far. I'm just gonna go look at some floor lamps right now and see what I can find over there for the living room because I am looking for another floor lamp for the living room area. So let's go. So y'all, if I do add pops of gold into my bedroom, yeah. it'll look something like this. But I don't want gold. I don't want too much gold though. Having just a little, little, little bit is fine, but not a lot. So I don't know. These are the floor lamps that they do have, though. But I don't like these. These are ugly. I got this one on clearance. But it's like a bronze. It has like a bronze base to it. Tell me what your name is. 
Tell me what you like and all your secrets I just wanna go over the details Let me inside of your mind I know I just met you But something tells me that you might be into Talking to a stranger with a tattoo Baby, I'm one of a kind There's a reason we're here There's a vibe in the air That neither you and me could deny Boy, I see how you stare up and down everywhere I can tell you're far from shy So let's talk till we drop Or till we get kicked out Let's just say what we want Okay, y'all, so we're about to get ready to head out of the store now. I really didn't find anything in here that I really like. And my husband, he has been working a lot. So I like to get his opinion on certain things as well. He did call, so I was able to get his opinion on the comforter and the quilt. Well, not the comforter, but the quilt and the sheets and stuff that I did get. So, and I got me a candle. But that's about it. So, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and go get something to eat and then head home. I really thought today I was going to actually find something that I really like, but my at-homes really suck. But let's go ahead and check out. There's a reason we're here, there's a vibe in the air that neither you or me could deny. Boy, I see how you stare up and down everywhere, I can tell you're far from shy. So let's talk. So y'all, I brought the girls out to eat. We're at this place called Cafe La Rue. And once they bring our food out, I'm gonna let y'all see. So they sell a lot of, um, the owner, the owner that owns this place, if I'm whispering, I hope y'all can hear me. But the owner that owns this place is from Louisiana. And that's exactly where I'm from, Louisiana. So I had to come and get me some Louisiana style cooking, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all the food, how it looks when they bring it out. I forgot to show y'all my food. I ate half of it, so I got shrimp and grits. Um, Ayana got shrimp and grits, and JC just got some chicken tenders and fries. She barely ate her food. She ate all hers. <laughs> now she's eating JC's. Put her food back. She's gonna eat that later. She bit it? Yeah. Tell her, no, don't eat my food. No, don't eat my food. You can have this. I want some fries. Yeah. Yeah, here's some fries. Here you go. <laughs> then you're going to put it on the table, huh? Oh. <laughs> you want some more fries? No, you're going to eat that later, little girl. No. Don't give her no more your stop. I didn't mind. Then eat it. I tell you I'm going She giving her food away. She only took a couple ah. bites. No, I can't eat it. No, don't you eat off of the floor. Don't eat off the floor. That's not cool. 
I'm just waiting on the ticket so we can get ready to go home now. I'm kind of upset that I didn't get a chance to pick out, well, not pick out, but get the cord that I wanted. So, that's like a bittersweet moment. Because I did walk out with something, but I didn't walk out exactly what I wanted. So. But let me get me some to-go to -go boxes and get the bill so me and the girls can go. Hey y'all, so I'm back in TJ Maxx and I am getting some pillows for my bed. And so far, these are the pillows that I got. I really, really love this color. It's like a cream ivory color. And this right here is like, like a black. And I'm trying to play around with the patterns and the texture and stuff. This right here is like a suede type color and it's choppable. Chop, chop. Oh, I can't even say the damn word. How you say it? chop bubble chop i keep getting tongue tied it i just put it on the screen y'all but we about to go check out because they're about to close but i just wanted to show y'all the pillows and i'm gonna show y'all more when i get home so continue to watch oh i like this look at this i think about that and it will go good on my bed also with that comforter that i have I like this. It's a quilt and you get the, um, oh, it's just a quilt. So you don't get the sham, the shams with it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's still here when I come back. Oops, look at y'all. The buggy rolling from up under me leaving. Okay, so yeah, I'm still getting the stuff in my bed. So let's go check out. Okay, y'all, so I am currently back at home. I am exhausted, really tired. Um, the girls are across the street at the park. I just brought the stuff in the house. And yeah, so if y'all can tell, I'm like really, really sleepy. And plus I'm not feeling good on top of that because it is that time of the month. Aunt Flo had came to visit me early, early this morning. So, yeah, so I'm not feeling too good. So I'm going to go ahead and end, well, not end. I'm just going to go ahead and stop the vlog here. And then I'm going to come back to y'all in the morning. And I'm going to put on the new bedding stuff that I bought for my bedroom. And let y'all see how the bed looks. I mean, I don't have a new furniture or anything. I'm, I mean, we're still using the same furniture that we do have. This is just all new, not all new bedding, um, all new bedding set that we got. So that's what I'm going to be showing y'all. Now I am going to be adding some new pillows and stuff to the bed. Um, I have three of them so far that I'm going to be using, but I want to get, um, uh, the 26 by 26 Euro pillows and I have found some on Amazon. I did place the order on those, but they won't be in until I think it said May 18th is when they'll be here. So I can't wait for them to get here. I really can't. So by the time y'all see this video, I'll have two days left until my stuff gets here. And then um, I'll be filming those pillows that I purchased from Amazon. I'll be showing y'all those pillows in the next vlog. But, yeah, so, I'm just taking my time. I am going to be getting a new area rug for my bedroom because I want one to go up under my bed. And I am going to be doing an accent wall in my bedroom as well. The kitchen, I know I told y'all the kitchen was the first thing that I was going to do. But since I have been buying everything for my bed first, I'm just going to go ahead and start getting stuff for my bedroom and definitely be so getting stuff for my bedroom and then getting a TV console for the living room and 
the next step is getting decor for the entryway that I'm going to be decorating. So, bed, master bedroom, first thing I'm working on, the, and TV console for the living room, and entryway. So, those are the first three things on my list that I'm going to be focusing on doing. I still need to also add to that list of doing the girls' bathroom. They need, like knew everything i know i told you i was going to be redoing their bathroom that itself alone is i think is ranging from 275 dollars for the stuff that i want to do to their bathroom so yeah i'm just trying to budget everything out correctly y'all i'm not like i said i'm not trying to spend so much money for a rental um home this is not our forever home at all we're only going to be here for another year and a half, two year tops. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to make it, you know, nice, cozy for me and my family. And when we do get our first home, which will hopefully pray to God, it'll be at our next duty station. Hopefully the rates will be down by the time we get there so that we can get our very first home. But when we do get our first home, Oh, y'all. Oh, my God. I just, oh, my God. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see all the stuff that I'm learning now with this, the style that I'm trying to go with. I'm hoping and praying that I don't, you know, I know exactly what I want when I get my actual home. I know exactly what I want and how I want it to look and everything like that so but yeah but um i'm about to take a bath relax a little bit and come back to y'all in the morning so stay tuned so right here are the luxury sheets that i got in there they are 1000 thread count luxury sheets i got them in queen size you get the flat sheet fitted sheet and pillowcases and it says machine wash warm with light colors, do not bleach, tumble dry low, removable, remove promptly, warm iron when needed, do not dry clean. And then working our way over is the three piece quilt set that I had gotten as well. I was gonna do the down comforter, just the comforter itself, but my husband said that he would prefer something like this a quilt so that's what I decided to go with you know I told you guys that I wanted to get his input on a, on a few things when styling different things and yeah just you know Ben if this is our home together I want to add something some things in here that you know he agreed on as well but this is the quilt that I got from at home so full slash queen I should have gotten a king probably, but I don't know. We'll see how it's going to fit on the bed. We'll see. Um, and then I have it in wave. That's the style. But being that we have like drawers at the bottom of our bed, it's not like our um, comforter is going to hang over. I know a lot of people like that oversized look. So if you have a queen size bed, they like to do like a king si a king size comforter or a quilt. That way they can make their bed look fluffier, fuller, and have that um, overflow going on, like how they have this. But being that we have drawers down here, I'm not gonna really be showing that that much. So, um, yeah. But this is the quilt. And if I don't like it, I can always take it back and exchange it for a king size. And it was $34.99. And this sheets was $54.99. And I did get a discount at at homes with the military discount, so. Oh no. Anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over. I got some place that I gotta be. It won't leave My 
my friends, hey Get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky It might feel just like you're on your own But baby, it's not the lie, remember you were me I try to work, 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 but it doesn't work I try to say something, but there's no word I try to just wrinkliest comforter I have ever seen. Ever. Look at this, y'all. Super wrinkled. And I bet it would have been so gorgeous if none of these things, wrinkles was in it. I'm so sad. So it would have been looking like smooth, somewhat like this. But it's looking like that. I mean, that is terrible, isn't it? It's like they just stuffed it in there and said, forget it. And it feels so good. It's like an off-white. So, yeah. I don't know. Kind of disappointed because of the wrinkles. Okay, y'all. So, before I show this beautiful look up close to you to you guys i wanted to first being that i have a uh, sleep number i wanted to let the mattress up because me and my husband had each side adjusted to our comfort level and i just wanted to level the bed completely out out raise it up and yeah let y'all see how good this is coming together and i cannot wait to get the rest of my pillows oh my god and get this beautiful thorough blanket that I'm about to get I know the look is going to come together so well plus with the new lamps that I'm going to be getting and then the accent wall y'all I'm excited and the rug oh, I'm so excited so but right now y'all I want you to excuse please excuse these damn wrinkles um I'm gonna have to get one of those steamer things to try to get the wrinkles and stuff out because like it is wrinkled really really bad and hopefully, you know, once I get my steamer in, I'm going to go ahead and once I get done with y'all, I'm going to go ahead and place that order on Amazon and get me one. I don't know why I haven't invested in one, 
But now um, I, I'm glad that I am going to get one now, especially with all the new decor that I'm going to be getting and the new bedding stuff, the new curtains. And I'm pretty sure some of it, especially if it's probably coming from Target or Walmart or Amazon, is definitely going to be needing to be steamed out so we can get those wrinkles out. But let's look at the bed, y'all. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Okay, y'all, so let's talk about it right quick. All right, so now these gray pillows right here, they go perfectly with this pillow right here. Now, when I first picked up this pillow, I swore I thought this right here was black, but it's not. It's like a really, really dark charcoal gray. And I should have known that. I don't know what I was thinking. But, y'all, this cream and this gray, OMG, cream gray and white, it goes so beautifully together. And I think I love it. I really, really do. I don't think I want to do the black now, y'all. I think I want to stick to this charcoal gray. So, with that being said, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then this off-white, the off-white cream type comforter. Oh, my God. It's really, really bringing this pillow right here out really nicely. And this pillow is also reversible. I'm going to show y'all that in a minute. minute. Um, I just put this. This is the throw from my old comforter set. I just put this on here just to hide them wrinkled ass wrinkles that's in the comforter. But um, I think this is probably, I don't know. I don't think this is how I'm going to lay the new um, throw blanket that I'm going to get. I don't know. We shall see. But let me show y'all. This is a choppable pillow. The chop pillow. This is a chop pillow. These are not. But I do want to make sure that the pillows that I do get from Amazon, which I'm going to be sending the other ones back, um, they haven't came in yet. They're supposed to be in here on the 18th. So I don't know what's going on with that. But I'm going to send those back. And then I'm going to go get the um, charcoal, a gray charcoal. Because they do have gray charcoal in those uh, pillows that I did want with the texture and stuff but let me show y'all how this pillow right here this pillow is so beautiful like look at that it is reversible so i can flip it this way Wait. i can flip it this way do the chop let me see push it over and that's how it looks like that but i think i like it the other way with the design on it like i think it adds like a pop of design and more texture to the bed which is amazing but comment below and let me know what you guys think i can't wait for my husband to see it i can't wait to see what he thinks and i cannot wait to get rid of these lamp well yeah the base lamp i am gonna keep the shades um, because these are this lamp is basically brand new I got this when I was first redoing my bedroom and I'm gonna get some nice um, deck decor to go on our nightstands you know stuff that I like and stuff that he likes he had this clock over here for a very long time since he was little and he don't want to get rid of it but I want to get rid of it y'all because it's broken look at this y'all our grandmas had one a clock like this, right? <laughs> I want to get rid of this clock so bad, and I am going to get rid of it. Maybe when I get him the modern updated, the one with the USB port attached to it, maybe, hopefully, he'll like that one and grow on it and get him some cute, manly decor to go over here. His little nightstand drawer. I don't like the look in his nightstand drawer, but it's yeah, basically empty anyway. He don't keep much in it compared to my side. I keep a lot of stuff in mine. But y'all, I'm loving this. Oh my goodness. And I cannot wait to decorate 
I think I want to remove this mirror right here and get the um, the round mirror to hang on the wall. But I don't know. I don't think that's going to look right. Y'all let me know. When we get some, I do want to change the, he think I do, I should change the knobs and stuff on the dresser just to, you know, bring it out some because these handles that's on this bed is completely outdated. So I'm going to go on Amazon and see what type of uh, handles that I want to get to go on it. Comment below and let me know what you guys think would look good on this dresser. We're not buying a new bedroom set no time soon. Not until we get us a home, buy us a new house. We've only had this bedroom set for like four years. So we don't plan on getting a new one no time soon. But I do want to change out the uh, handles on it. But I don't know what color would go good with this um, walnut color. Before I left, I had wanted to show y'all the rug <laughs> now this is the rug that i had in my husband's office when i was decorating his office at the old house and now that his office has carpet in it and plus i'm just gonna redo it again because i don't like how it's looking so i'm gonna be redoing it pretty soon um his office may be the last thing i work on though because yeah i have a whole lot of other important things that need to get done first but what do y'all think about this rug um, I'm thinking about pushing it up under the bed just a little bit. This is a five by seven rug, but it's pretty dang on big. I can't remember exactly where I got this rug. I got this rug from Target. That's where I got it from. So I'll make sure if y'all interested, I'll link it down below just in case if y'all want to go and get this same rug. But what do y'all think? Do y'all think it goes? So it's gray, white, and ivory, just like the bed. Well, gray, white, and cream. Let me step back some so y'all can see what I'm seeing. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all think it goes well? You think I should leave it? Or what? That throw definitely has to go, though. I want something a little bit darker. So it can bring out that pillow and those two charcoal, dark gray pillows, and this rug. This rug actually has some um, dark color, well, dark charcoal color as well, gray. Or do y'all think I should just do like a nice abstract rug? I have been looking on rugs.com and on BoutiqueRugs.com and RugsUSA.com and I have not been able to find exactly what I'm looking for to, for this bedroom. But seeing this type of rug in here, it kind of goes with this pillow somewhat. Somewhat? <laughs> I don't know. That's why I'm asking y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all think those two patterns kind of mesh well or what? is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video um hopefully i have some new decor coming soon if it ever gets here um but you know when you're doing a house to home series and you're posting weekly or twice a week and you're constantly waiting to get your stuff in it's kind of hard to like get footage and content out for you guys which is why i'm a day late of getting this video out to you guys which I do apologize about that but I can't wait to finish my bedroom it's gonna come together so nicely I bet y'all like girl you're all over the place you don't know if you want to do the kitchen you don't know if you want to do the living room you say you're gonna focus on the living room but you're not focusing on the living room you know about bedroom stuff yes I'm about bedroom stuff and now that I bought my bedding I want to finish my bedroom now so don't judge me okay <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out y'all but let's go ahead and end this video here. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel for all things cleaning, laundry, home, and lifestyle videos. This is a house to home series that your girl is doing for you guys. So probably for the all year of 2022, bye bye. we are going to be doing house home bye bye. series. Bye bye guys. Excuse JC, she looks a little rough too, but that's okay. <laughs> 
but we will catch you in hopefully next Monday's video. I have been really consistent posting every Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So just make sure your bell notification is turned on. Make sure you're looking out for my um, post on YouTube. I love posting on YouTube, giving you guys updates on upcoming videos and, you know, just a day in the life of what's been going on with me and stuff. So, yeah, just make sure you're subscribed to my channel and make sure your bell notifications are turned on. Like this video and always remember to drop your girl a comment. I love chatting up with you guys, okay? Until next time, catch you in the next. Bye.